They're something you take for granted. They're plentiful and convenient. But they're not yours for the taking. Despite laws against it in many states, millions of shopping carts are stolen each year, and it's adding up on your grocery bill. CNN's Greg Lamont reports on efforts to curb this runaway crime. Sites like these are a pretty common occurrence from coast to coast. People on the streets with stolen shopping carts. In Southern California alone, shopping cart theft has reached epidemic proportions. We would estimate that, say, the homeless or laundromats or places like that have about 750,000 carts that we will never find on the street. It represents $17 million in losses for grocery stores. And you know who pays for that. I think it's a problem, uh, and it costs the store a lot of money, which is then passed on to us. All you have to do is drive through Hollywood, you can see half of them. Between my apartment and my office, I mean, literally, I mean, we call, you know, you see lots of them. But at least one grocery store chain is experimenting with an idea that could put the skids on shopping cart theft. The trick, or technology, is inside these red wheels. When the shopping cart crosses an electronic barrier around the store's parking lot, the wheels automatically lock up. And the only way they can be unlocked is with this electronic cart key. Its inventor and manufacturer is Actodyne General of Huntington Beach, California. We were inspired by an article in Forbes magazine in October 93 on the, the large losses in Southern California on cart retrieval. Uh, at that time, they were picking up approximately about 11,000 carts a, a day in Southern California. And at that time, we kind of thought there was a niche we might be able to come up with an answer for. Up until now, the only solution to stolen carts is to go out and retrieve them. With a locking wheel device, these carts may never leave the parking lot in the first place. Well, that would be wonderful. It would be a big savings for the markets, I'm sure. But as you would imagine, not everyone is in favor of it. It would be really difficult to carry all this stuff, you know, to, to, to the recycler. This is $15 here. So it would be really, I wouldn't be able to do all this canning and bottling unless I found some kind of, um, you know, some kind of wagon or something, you know. Maybe so, but if this store's experiment succeeds, the only shopping carts you see on the streets in the future may be the old-fashioned kind. Greg Lamott, CNN, Los Angeles. And still to come on Prime News. It took my breath away when I saw it. I've seen many 